blazing buffer. You gotta be kidding me. 29 miles 17. Hopefully we can make it to the gas station in time. I know I cover up my fault lines with silly putty Like the laugh's gonna make the bad shit turn to nothing But that's rubber, I'm blue All I say stick to you Trying to get close to the truth Man, I ain't 22 no more Gotta shoot for the moon Fuck if I fall on the floor I always get pack up, ask for more I'ma keep playing pain strings Till they chant an encore, do you? Don't let them push your youth through a door that they open This open wound, I'm a open book I'm a kook, shooting hoop dreams They break in through the roof They be at the tree of Eden, trying to tear out all its roots I be aiming for a king, playing around in a booth Like this'll all work out, tell my mama I'll be cool She ain't gotta worry about her little chicken flew the coop Chicken, little near the truth, the sky's always falling down Everybody's reaching out, thinking they can grab the clouds The sky, the sky is falling Everybody's trying to grab the cloud The sky, the sky is falling Everybody's trying to grab the cloud yeah. The whole world burning, the whole world burning It's red against blue, the whole world's here Purple in the sky, like the sun is saying bye The whole world learning, its ways is about to die Print for pieces of the pie, but we sim with the crumbs We just like we wanted love, it's so different than it was Everything is falling down, everything is falling down Everything is falling down, everything is falling down, is falling down. The sky, the sky is falling Can you see the porn hub? You see the porn hub rocking on that? Get yours, but I'm sold out, so just wait but um, we got, we got 17 miles to make it to the gas station. 17 miles. What's up everybody? Shout out to all my slow speeders out there. Welcome back to yet another vlog. And in today's video, uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna drive around, talk about what's kind of wrong with it, specifically in the last video uh, that I posted you know, on YouTube. It did pretty good, honestly. That video was me running my boys. I'm four, uh, another friend, uh, 335 is hanging out and Another friend's 640, right? Uh, many guys know, because a lot of you guys seen the video. In the car community, it's like a lot of drama. You know what I mean? It's a lot of drama. I don't like drama, to be honest. I, I just like to have fun. We just talk about cars. We go out, we race our cars. Uh, that's why I kind of don't, I guess, go out and go to like a lot of the crazy events and stuff happening. I don't want to get my car crashed. It's lime green. I'm not trying to get pulled over by the police or be, not necessarily put over police that night, but become one of those people that the cops look out for and none of that. At the end of the day, I make YouTube videos. I, I, I do make money from this stuff. I want to continue making money from this stuff. And I want to do it as, I guess, professional as possible when it comes to like street racing, right? Or uh, as safe as possible, whatever you want to call it. But you can't escape the drama. And I realized that. I thought you could, but you can't. Uh, you know, Instagram, all that stuff. It's, I don't know, it just gets to people's head. I went out to Long Island. I raced, that uh, car burned down the ground, boy. I ra oh, oh, boy, that was just a bag. Um, yeah, you guys seen those videos. I posted them up there. I went out there with Palm 93. I told you guys, I'm not making any excuses. I went out there, I knew what I brought, and they beat me. You know, I post those videos up, whatever, right? Uh, you know, I was gonna get the car dialed in. It was more of a testing and tuning thing. All right, cool, I got you. They, they post the race online, whatever. That's what it is, you know? You get a win, you get a win. You're in front of me, you're in front of me. If it looks like that on camera, it looks like that on camera. Uh, also, case in point, um, I beat this 340, this black 340. We was doing roll racing, you know, just playing around. No no extra crazy stuff. I had a leaking manifold and all that stuff and a crappy um, big boost tune. And I beat this car in the rolls. He said he wouldn't run from a dig. I knew I wouldn't uh, win from a dig at all. We ran from a dig. I lost, I spun. He still posts that video up till his day. I don't hate him. He got the footage now. It's a terrible representation, but at the end of the day, I don't hate him. You know, it is what it is. At the end of the day, the video shows him in front of me. That's what it is. I own him, man. He's. I don't hate him. He's cool. And I don't hate nobody, right? Ran the guy uh, in a 640. Uh, from a roll, is, is no competition. I, I'm on E. He's on E. He's on full E. Whatever the case may be, port injection. His mod list is extensive. Mine is extensive. Whatever the case. 
we were coming out there to race. From a dig, I would spin and then it would take me a while to catch him. And the last dig race we actually did, we did a race from zero, a dig, and my tires were so hot, the Archer Blades, that they actually hooked from a dig. And I was in front of him the whole time, right? Now there's nothing wrong with that. I beat the guy. There's nothing wrong with that. He, I came out there with the cameras, he posted up online, he had the video, he, I mean, he had a GoPro as well. He turned his GoPro on and he filmed. I actually asked the dude, I asked him, can I have some of the footage? So some of the footage you see was actually footage from his car, his GoPro that he sent to me. And um, he fell victim to the online bullying and he succumbed to it and now he's butthurt. He's butthurt that he lost. Not that he lost, I don't think. I think he's butthurt that people are getting on him that he lost. At the end of the day, you win, you lose, all right? I post a lot of stuff on YouTube about downfalls and things that break, me losing here, you know, telling you guys cost a lot of money. I try to advise you guys to, as much as possible, whatever. You know, I'm not on here to post just straight glory stuff, you know, things going right, me winning races, whatever. I do lose, we all know. But one thing that I do not succumb to is the online drama. And I figured, I figured I'd, I'd separate myself from the online drama by just hanging out with an older crowd, you know? Not not too many young hot boys that just wanna go outside and race, 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 which is nothing wrong with that, but I just don't, I, that's, I just don't wanna be in that crowd, you know? So I figured, you know, a couple older dudes, we go out, we have a good time, just a couple of us, you know, we don't have that ego that, you know, that, that we need the clout. Uh, but apparently, I guess, the video did a lot better than he thought it would. I'm not sure why, because he actually posted the races before I did. And um, he's like extremely butthurt about it. And you know, I kind of really don't want anything to do with the guy anymore, you know? Uh, it sucks, I thought he was a good person, and I just thought he was misunderstood by a lot of, what, you see this dude's muffler? Get this dude's muffler. <laughs> you see that shit? <laughs> it's going with the wind, baby. You see that? Oh, it's rubbing up against the wheel. Oh, yeah, let's get away from this guy quick. But like I was saying, yeah, you know, I didn't, I didn't think he would react like that at all. Um, I just went out, race, have good vibes. Uh, quick disclaimer: if you guys know a YouTuber, and if the YouTuber comes out with a camera, there's like a hundred percent chance he's filming for YouTube. Instagram doesn't pay me any money to put content on there. I like putting content on Instagram, but it don't pay me any money. If I'm coming out with a camera, we enjoy it, and I got some good content, it's going on YouTube, right? You don't think that makes sense? I don't want to I don't want to be around that type of stuff. I don't want to be, be around it. I say he's a good guy, and I, I never read, because he, he has beef with a lot of people, you know? And this is the funny thing, right? This is what I can't grasp. There's this kid that has an orange 340, right? He raced an RS3. He got dragged. Uh, I don't even want to put that video up because I don't want nobody to be butt hurt all over again because these people just got feelings. Right? We all chilling. We all cool. I don't understand why people just can't be cool. But he got dragged, right? That, that's what happened. Now, I've seen the video, and my analysis from the video is that uh, he stayed on launch control too long, and the tires started spinning, and by the time that he let go of the brakes, he pretty much did like, a, it looked like he did a rolling burnout. That's what I think. That's what I got from the video. And I was talking to the dude with the 640 and we were going back and forth about it. I think this is what happened. I think this is, you know, no, I didn't post online. Oh, this 340, the slowest, scat, scat, uh, blah, blah. none of that. I didn't post, oh, the R, R is three for the win. None of that, I'm not trying to be with that, but I seen the video, the video's online for everybody. And so we had discussion about it. Oh, this is what happened. This is what I think what happened. This is what I think what happened. Boom, 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 just that in the third. And then he's like, yeah, you know, we, we just had a discussion. That's all, I'm gonna keep it at that. We had a discussion, right? But when people discuss his loss, he t you, you, you talking about somebody else's loss too when they lose. So what's wrong with people talking about your loss? You know, that's the thing that I can't grasp. And the main reason I'm filming this video is because I just want to explain to everybody that at the end of the day, you know, I don't care what you out here for. I'm out here to have fun. She look kind of good. She about to get hit too. Go ahead, lady. You was not even watching. She don't even look that good no more. But you get what I'm saying, though? You get what I'm saying? At the end of the day, this motherfucker don't watch. Yo, they just, 
happy land, bro. Watch where you going. But I don't care what y'all do it for. I do it for fun. I want to make content on YouTube. I'm not going to put crazy. I'm not going to put your plates on there or this, that, or that, or whatever y'all call it. Whatever you want to say, whatever excuses. And I'm not going to do any of that stuff. It's out here for fun. If you post a video, I don't understand how you can get upset at me posting a video. But at the end of the day, um, I'm out here having fun. I don't have no beef for nobody. I don't want to have beef for anybody. I just separate myself from the people because I don't want to be in the mix. And I feel like this is a good lesson for me that, you know, you, you just because you think you find an older crowd or whatever, there's still those types of people. Age doesn't really matter. Um, and at the same time, I'm going to continue posting videos, continue having a good time. But just remember, guys, at the end of the day, I oh, see the lady get smacked right here, bro. Dude ran a red light. Oh, my God. She got hit crazy. Nah, she got hit in a car. Mm -hmm. And she spun out over here. I was going to get 85. She crying. She was crying. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I learned my lesson on that one. I guess I, I, I you just went, you got to just see, you know. If you come out with a camera and I come out with a camera, expect something to get filmed. You know what's funny? I think he's missing the important part out of this video. I think he's missing the important part. The important part is we're just going out, we're having fun. It's no big deal. And the second thing about this video is, listen, you shouldn't be worried about me versus you or anything, you know? That I, I'm actually surprised because I have a big boost car, he has pure stage two. So I'm actually surprised that he's like upset about our race and not upset about him racing the 335. The 335 had pumped 93 gas. Just downpipe in a tune, full both ons. You know, both on turbo, but he didn't have a turbo. Stock turbo, six speed 335. And he kept up with the 640 with the big boost. I mean, with the um, pure. I'd be more mad at that. A dude spent a thousand bucks to his car with a manual transmission, rear wheel drive. And he kept up with your car and you got probably what? Like like 10 grand, maybe more than 10 grand worth of work in your car? Mm -hmm. Now, like I said, it's all fun. But then if you're going to be mad at me, you know, about me running my car in ethanol, you running your car in ethanol, and I beat you, you should be mad about the guy that pulled up on 93 manual transmission and hung with you. Yeah. You know, but it's just... It's just something you learn every day. It's a lesson you learn every day. Trust me, I, I'm i not gonna say I didn't wanna post this video because I really did wanna post this video after the type of response that I've been getting from that dude. Um, I, I don't feel like acknowledging it because I'm just not the type, you know what I'm saying? I don't wanna get all in it and then I get, you know how I he get. He wants to race again, right? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You, you, know, you know how I get, like, it escalates like this. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it goes like this, so. I just rather not deal with it. I just wanted to go out and have fun, and it turned out to not be fun. I'm gonna just put full E in, and I don't feel like running nobody. I ain't putting half and half. I'm gonna just put full E. Or should I mix it up? Nah, I'm gonna oh. just put full E. I'm chilling, you know? Regular, if you were to get regular. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I did take it. I think it's gonna be about like 25 bucks. I only run full E when I'm not running like kill mode because full E is actually make a little less power because my pumps can't support it like that and the car breaks up a little bit. I'll run E50 when I really want to do a kill map. Sometimes what I do is I always be wanting to do a kill map sometimes so I'll drive the car until I get like a half a tank of gas and then I'll put a little more than half and then I'll just fill the rest up with 93 like a couple gallons of 93. Let me call Cat. I gotta call Cat. See what she has. I, I kind of wanted to film today with her too, but we'll see. I kind of, I kind of like bike vlogs so much. I like hanging out with bike. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. How much gas we gonna have? I, I told him thirty. Oh man. Dude. Yeah, hell yeah. This thing's drinking more than normal. Fourteen gallons. Though. Oh, there you go. Twenty nine eighty nine. All right, I'm gonna get my eleven cents. Get back in the car. You stop. <laughs> And I went from a bag to a bag to a bag I remember me and mama used to ride the cab Pull up out the lot, no more lease, we pay cash Show up to a crib, had the keys to a jack That's that light work, flexing so much it hurt Used to rock him and dance now